Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, and Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say. If you're watching this program, then you have already been blessed because you are up, living, breathing, and God has given you another day. All right, let's go ahead and get into this wonderful word today. Now, this one is going to be um, some good motivation, I will say. All right, let's get into it. Now, you might want to take some notes or listen to it a couple of times to get what you really need from it. The title of this sermon note is A Pruning Season. A Pruning Season. And your scripture reference is going to be John chapter 15, verse 16. During pruning, you're off balance. Now, pruning is just like you prune a tree. You know, you want that tree to grow wider, grow taller, grow stronger. You go in during the peak seasoning, or rather the off season, let me say that correctly, and you cut off certain, you know, branches, and you structure the tree the way you want it to, if you want it to grow wider, taller. All right, so a pruning season. Let's start this over. During pruning... You're off balance, and the enemy tries to come in while he thinks you're weak. John talks about this pruning season. You will realize that during the pruning season, you will be shaken. It's about your future. God is fixing to make you a dangerous saint. God is looking for some saints that are mature believers and won't be tossed to and fro. This is your destiny we're talking about. God is pruning you to bear more fruit, bigger and better. God knows how to prune you without cutting you. Don't miss that one. He's a master surgeon. He won't hurt you. He loves you. John had a revelation about God. He knew that God loved him and God's purpose for him. It was good. Remember, God chose you first. He invited you to his table. God chose you. Then he appointed you and placed you. So let me give you that one again. God chose you. He invited you to his table, and then he appointed you, and then placed you. Sometimes it feels like you don't fit, but God gave you a spot. In your mother's womb, God gave you a spot. He already knew you. God brought you into being. He selected you because he knew he had a spot for you. Just go to the spot. You will bear fruit in that spot. Whatever you do will prosper. Like a tree, you will grow. Your fruit will also remain. Now, after you bear your fruit and you're placed, and your fruit is going to remain. That's your generation. That's your children. Now, you got to attain. When you attain, you must remain humble. When you attain, you must remain humble. Because when God gives you something, you got to maintain it. You got to keep it. So when God gives it to you, stay humble. Then retain it. Meaning it still speaks when you're dead. Okay? Stay humble when you get God's promises. Let me say that again. Stay humble when you get God's promises. Ask God to open one door one time. That's all you're going to need. Ask God to open one door one time. That's all you're going to need. Wow. Isaiah chapter 22 verse 22 says the door will open and no one will shut it. That's generation to generation. Ask God to open one door door one time for you when god talks about bearing fruit he's not talking about cars houses or money or what you have he's talking about people 
He's talking about impacting people. Let me say that again. When God talks about bearing fruit, he's not talking about material stuff. He's talking about people and impacting people. Jesus impacted people. It's about people ministry. When God chooses you, anoints you, he places you horizontally, laying down so that you look up to God for help. You in the right spot sometimes, but not in the right place. You think you're supposed to be on two feet standing up, but God wants your horizontal, laying down, looking up to him so that he touches you to be able to get up. God won't let you go. Hold on to dear life. Submission to God. A pruning season a pruning season you all let god prune you he knows how to prune you without cutting you he's a master surgeon and when he gives it to you remain humble once you attain it from god then you got to sustain it you got to keep it I meaning you got to keep going to god because he's going to be the one that keeps you going and give you what you need in it. And remember, it's not about material things. It's a people thing. Because it's going to be about saving people's lives and spreading the gospel. You've been chosen. You've been placed. You've been appointed. You've been asked to sit at the table. Now, what are you going to do with it? You know who I'm talking to today. And it's time for you to stand out. Just like the pruning we talked about, you know, like with a tree, where when you want that tree to grow wider, taller, bigger, and stronger, you go in there and cut off the dead leaves and shape it a certain way. So when it comes back the next season, it's even bigger and better. And people say, wow, is that the same tree was in your yard last year? And that tree is like doubled and, you know, just there are presence. You're a presence and you know who you are. Use your presence for good. I almost said something. I'm going to hold that back. Use your presence that God gives you. Like it says, remain humble. Use it for positivity and for good. Use it to impact people's lives in a beautiful way, just like Jesus did. If you're not going to use it in a positive way like Jesus did, then there's no reason for you to even have it. That's why it says to remain humble. Use what you have for God. Stay horizontal so you can look up to God and God help you through this. A pruning season. You have been chosen and asked to sit at the table with the Lord and be used for his purpose. God bless you on your journey. All right, if you have not joined Grace Ministries today is your opportunity. We are just a body of believers or some that are learning to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and willing to learn about this amazing God, Jesus Christ, and left us the Holy Spirit. They want to serve, too. They want to know about it, too. I've actually had some uh, new people come in and say, well, I'm not a religious person, but da-da-da-da-da. It's not about religion. It is about a relationship with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have all kinds of religions and sex and all, you know, that kind of thing. But this is about a relationship with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that will change your life. You will never be alone, no matter what you've been through or going through in your life. I know that for myself. You know, sometimes we like, hey, we got family. We got mama, daddy, children, whoever. No, when you ain't got nothing unless you got God. And Jesus and when you got God and Jesus you can make it through anything he'll always take your call he won't put your business out on the internet he won't judge you for it he'll simply get you up help you walk with you comfort you be with you and he's always there he'll he'll always be there no matter what time you call or when you need him so that's what this family is about I invite you to come in today uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the sermon notes today. Hit the bell to subscribe. And then once you hit the bell, click on that again. There's another button back there that gives you the option to choose all messages so that you won't miss anything that pops up. Uh, there are some other things that I do in between also uh, on the channel. A little bit of cooking and some things like that. 
some little good things for you too so check those out in between but become a member of this family so we can grow together and by all means share it out share it with your family today sit down as a family today and watch it this is people friendly remember this is going to be a generational thing when you leave here your children their children their children are going to still be spreading the gospel and saying yeah we were taught as youngsters we knew about the lord and if you don't have a church home that's okay too i want to invite you for something else and i will try to remember to put it down in my comment section um if you would uh, like to join uh, my church home it is the rock mount pisgah the rock t-h-e rock r-o-c-k mount m-t pisgah p-i-s-g-a-h Baptist Church, The Rock Baptist Church in Richardson, Texas. I will try my best to go in and put that in my comment section on Sundays. Uh, I'm in Texas, so we're Central Time at 10.30 a.m. Then you can join us in live worship on the internet. So wherever you're watching from, you may be watching from Canada. You may be watching from Europe somewhere, or New Mexico, does not matter. Tune in, 10.30 a.m. Central Time, Texas Time. That's easy to go in there. You can even Google it, and it'll tell you what time it is compared to your time. And it's uh, Mount Pisgah, the rock. The rock, Mount Pisgah, I'm saying it backwards. Anyways, when you pull it up, yeah, and I'll try to put it in my comment section, you'll see at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings, you will be richly blessed. So even though you can't get there physically, now I will say this, if you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I do have some Dallas, Texas uh, area people that watch my videos too, um, I invite you to come in person. The address is 1020 South Sherman Street, Richardson, Texas, and that's where we'll be. All right, join this family. Join the family. Be glad to have you. Hello to everybody out there, to my um, older family members that have been with me for about, about four or five years now. I can't even believe that, but it's been about four or five years now that some of us have been together in this family. So hello to you, and uh, welcome to the new members also. All right, everybody, be blessed. A pruning season. You've been appointed. You've been chosen to sit at the table. Be blessed. Powerful blessings are coming this week, y'all. Powerful blessings, things you've been asking for, things you need. All right. Be blessed.